What's going on everybody? Welcome to Charge Up. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a combination of autopilot on the highway and autopilot on Durham roads, Durham streets. Let's go. All right guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be taking the highway over to Whitby. We'll be getting off at Thixon Road and then we'll be heading north on Thixon. And what we're gonna do is actually work on autopilot, let the car do an autopilot. However, I'm not gonna put anything into navigation. I know where I'm going. I'm going to a couple destinations today. First destination is what I will record for this video. And we'll let the car do its thing. I'm gonna intervene when I need to, make a left-hand turn, a right-hand turn, or change lanes or anything, just to show the difference between autopilot and navigating an autopilot when obviously the car does everything for you up until your destination, for the most part at least. And because obviously we don't have anything on navigation, when you're on the highway with auto with autopilot, with no navigation, the car will just continue going straight in the in the lane that you're in. It won't suggest anything, it won't ask you to make any lane changes. The only thing it will ask you is to repeatedly obviously keep putting your hand on the steering wheel to make sure that you're still awake and you're still paying attention. Other than that, the car will just continue going on its own. Obviously you can still make lane changes, which I am making currently. You can obviously make lane changes whenever you want. So it really, it's up to you. I'm gonna hop onto the express here again. See, it's in the lane, so it's just gonna keep going straight. So we are now in Whitby, Ontario, currently still on the 401. However, fixing the off-ramp that we want to take is coming up soon. And because I'm not doing any sort of navigation on the screen or with the system, the system won't know that unless I change lanes. So in a couple seconds here, actually I'll do it now. I will change lanes. because after the next turn right here, Thixon actually comes up right afterwards. So what we'll do is we'll change lanes one more time to the right, and then we'll go towards the off-ramp. So now this is Thixon Road right here. It sees the lane, it sees, uh, there it is, the lane right there. So I'll, I will make the lane change now. We are on the off-ramp. Lane change. And then we'll go right back into autopilot. Give it permission to go through the lights. We'll set the speed limit at 70 kilometers, which is 10 over the speed limit on this road. And we'll continue with autopilot. Alright, so we are on Thixon Road going north. We are currently in Whitby. Speed limit just changed from 60 to 80, so I will adjust the max to 85. Um, but again, it all depends on how quickly the car in front of you is going because we do have the one car length uh, portion set, distance car length from the car in front. So this is where I've noticed before that it does say 60 as the max now. So the system will take 60 as max, even though the road maximum is 80, because that's a suggested speed limit from taking the on-ramp. So here's another one where it says 30, and that's a suggestion, 
but the system takes it as 30 and then it'll change max to, to 30 instead so now we're the system only wants to do maximum of 40 so that definitely to change somehow those are terrible signs to be completely honest why would you make them the same size as speed limit side so here's the actual speed limit sign so that'll change back to 60 now and it'll jump back to 70 but putting those suggested those should be different a different shape instead of the same shape as as actual speed limit signs considering that they're suggestions only don't they know that there's autonomous driving going on like come on guys wake up <laughs> Hopefully the system reads that a little bit better. Um, I don't obviously I don't think it takes colors into account, but it's definitely something that uh, should change in the future. Coming up to a slight turn here, I'm curious to see what the system does here. There's a stop sign ahead. I'm gonna keep it at 90. Let's see what it does. knows that there's a stop sign coming ahead nicely done actually nicely done I will take over here because I do need to make a right hand turn which I will do so now and then go right back into autopilot Maximum on this road, which is Baldwin Street North, is 80 as well. So I've got the maximum at 90. 60 sign over here is saying it's coming up as 60 maximum. And then 60 sign is right over here. So then the automatic, automa autopilot will automatically now adjust the speed down to 70 from 90 to stay within the 10 kilometer over amount that I have set it to. I will take over here because our destination is close to the right over here as soon as I make this turn and that's it for today's video thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it hit that like button if you enjoyed this video it helps other people find it on YouTube if you guys do hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell for future videos on the Model X until the next one guys